So, Gerhard Trautenberger from Vienna, you are working with design and, and especially open design now the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. What is open design? Open design uh, is, is a strategy for designers mm -hmm. uh, to collaborate, to work together on a very unconventional way or very, very easy way. Mm -hmm. Usually when designers, when people meet and, and want to exchange ideas, uh, products, mm -hmm. production methods, uh, there is a lot of paperwork involved, like uh, lawyers, you know, what is my idea, what is your idea, how copyrights, uh, copyrights mm -hmm. what else. And uh, the open design is based on the idea that uh, creative commons can be applied to design. Creative commons is a system of rules mm -hmm. you can establish uh, how to exchange ideas. So, for example, I want to work with your idea, mm -hmm. what can I do with this idea? Can I uh, change the idea? Can I use it for my work? Can I make money with your idea, for example, or what, what I have to give you back for this idea. So there's a number of different, so I, if, I, if you take my idea, you could actually produce it, but then I get paid, or? Yeah, I for example, yeah, then I have to contribute to your idea, or, or if you say, well, this is my idea, and if I change your, the idea, I can use it, but I have to re refer to the, yours and or, mm. original idea. Okay, why is this useful? Uh, it's useful uh, compared, I mean, in the, in the time of internet where you can exchange easily files and very fast. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, uh, that means that uh, you see a lot of ideas out there and don't know what to do with these ideas mm -hmm. and how, how you can use these ideas. And the problem is, uh, as a researcher, I don't find the origin of this mm. idea, usually. Or it's very hard to find yeah. the origin of this idea. So if you use Creative Commons, it's for a researcher or for a designer very easy to track down the, uh, the original idea or even to, to work with this idea yeah. without, you know, having a, uh, filled out a treaty or something else. Yeah. And you told us about these uh, open design uh, studios or... or mm -hmm. uh, Labs, or Labs mm -hmm. uh, that you created in, in Graz and Vienna. Um. So the, the idea with, with open design, and this is then the beauty, of, it's we can bring international designers to Graz, mm -hmm. but don't have to transport their goods. Mm -hmm. For okay. example, a huge furniture, huge installations. So they send us only the file and it's locally produced. Mm. So there we have a local value-added system suddenly, you know. It's not produced in Berlin, if there's a Berlin designer and sent to us, mm. it's locally produced with the local the, uh, local uh, craftsmen. So it's uh, it's both uh, an interesting like intellectual, uh, intellectual rights experiment and it's an interesting experiment in in being local and yeah. being sustainable in transport, for yeah, example. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you mentioned in, in Graz that uh, the, all the, the products were produced within 150 Mo kilometers. Yeah. And it was possible to find these people. Well, uh, th th that was the challenge actually to find mm -hmm. the machines and the craftsmen mm -hmm. and the, the supplies for, for, for this, what we needed. So. Uh, it was in a radius of 150 kilometers that we all find the, the, the suppliers for the things we yeah. needed. But do you think that with, with this kind of, of uh, open data or open sources and, uh, and sharing it over the internet, uh, we've been talking about uh, working from a distance mm. and being, um, uh, being able to actually choose where to live. Do you think that will be po become more common. You did some research into that mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. uh, w what we see now is also the internet is a facilitator towards mm -hmm. that because you don't have to live on the, on, the, on the space where you work or where your client is. That we see, and this was a study done in Austria from the creative industries. Mm -hmm. So where do people live and where do people work and where do people have their clients? And mm -hmm. we see there is a pattern somehow that people live on the countryside or rural areas and contribute to the community, mm. work for the community, with the community. We have, but we have also people who live in the, on the countryside but work in the cities. Mm. And of course we have people who are only see themselves living in the city and working mm. in the city. So they need the city environment to, to, for, for their work, not only the clients but only to, to get the ideas, information and, and so on. 
But that's, I think that was uh, 31% that couldn't think of living anywhere yeah. else and yeah. 22% that wanted to cross to border somehow. Cross border. Yeah. So over 50%, but still uh, over 45% were actually not dependent yeah, on the that, city. That's the interesting thing that they, they see themselves being part of the, of the community, being part in their area, mm -hmm. working there and, and, and also living there, I mean, getting money and, and, and working there. So which kind of companies are, are using uh, open design? Are there organizations or institutions or more mm. small scale mm. private? Mm. Uh, it, it's a very new mm. idea, open design, mm. a new strategy. So um, mostly designers using it today, and mm. and and, and uh, we want to disseminate the, the the idea of open design more, and it mm. could be used more. But what we see is that designers use open design as a tool. Yep. Um, so open design is not only about publishing your files, but it's also about how you work together with others in a, in a collaboration. How you uh, exchange ideas, how you work together, mm -hmm. so one skill which I don't have, you maybe you have, and how we can work together and not having, you know, say clear, Anna, this is, this is, the, this the, this is the line and don't cross it. So it's also a new way of, of working together mm -hmm. in teams. Mm -hmm. And um, there we see a, a huge success in the last two years that mm -hmm. uh, really many, many people work together share resources and mm. share machines, mm. share materials, share ideas, share, share knowledge. It's, it's exploding right now. What do you foresee in the, in the coming five years? Oui. Will, will uh, <laughs> open design be used in other sectors than for designers? Mm. You also showed a, a graph of uh, the structural fonts being mm. used to, a, to the greatest extent mm. for art and maybe cities working mm, with something mm. and you have a very small part for yeah. for creative industries yeah. which includes designer mm, mm. Uh, five years is a long long say projection three, <laughs> three i would say it maybe it's it, the people will not call it open design but mm. we see the the idea about open design uh, this uh, everywhere now and, and it will come bigger and bigger in the way how people work together mm. and they see that they can't be a alone you know the it's not the self the cowboy the self ranger mm. <laughs> uh, who who's fighting the, his own war so they have to and they see that it's better to work together mm. and this will be a trend of course is this changing business business models in it has to it has to it's not it's not like a big company with different uh, uh, sectors or so different branches like you know uh, ideation, production, uh, distribution, and, and so on. So uh, this is a complete new business model. Has, uh, there has to be developed even, you know. It's not, not, we are not there yet that it's clear how these business models will work. So we, we need more uh, exploration, experimentation to see how... Yeah, it's, how it uh, we are at the be beginning of the process, not at the end, so it's... So let's, let's see where it ends up. <laughs> well, uh, I think it's a promising way, you know, that, uh, that people share ideas and share their knowledge. Great. Thank you, Gary.